welcome back guys to episode 11 of attack on titan and i feel like this is going to be quite an interesting episode because based off the preview we did see gabby and falco making an escape so i think this episode is going to focus more so on them as they explore paradise island so i can't wait to see how exactly that kind of interaction will go down because obviously we know the mindset gabby and falco have of paradise island so, so i'm curious to see if that image will get challenged so i guess we'll wrap further do let us get into things and if you guys want to watch more anime make sure to check out the link above for our synchronized video in three two one go is this not like the oldest trick in the book can you not see what she's holding in her oh jesus christ oh the f oh 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 could could you not just knock him out for fuck's sake mm, they w they weren't gonna kill you yeah and the guy ran in to see if you were all right oh are you all right Oh shit, okay, no, I didn't expect us to go back to, um... Marley... God... Oh, okay, 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 I... This is, oh, this is, yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting episode. I expected it to focus fully on kind of like Gabby and Falco, but I didn't expect it to also revisit the after effects of war. This is going to be another cruel, and I feel like, as always, conflicting kind of back and forth episode, because um, now we're going to see, you know, what we kind of witnessed from Paradise Island when we first got invaded. Uh, the, like, you know, the after effects of war, everyone losing everyone, things being destroyed, you know, lives being lost. But now we have to witness that on the Marley side as well. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be weird. Um, but firstly, I am mostly curious to see how exactly uh, Gabby and Falco's escape is going to be. I'm glad that at least Falco kind of has a head on his shoulders because Gabby, do, oh, do I even blame her? Like, I mean, because we do have to accept the fact that, no, like, don't get me wrong, I, I, I don't like her. I never, I didn't even like her from my so one you guys made me think like oh maybe i should give her a chance but no um <laughs> anyway so i mean like gabby has always grown up with seeing paradise island people as devils like absolute fucking like demons and obviously she's witnessed so many people in front of her get freaking headshot so i understand um ki kind of yeah like where she's coming from but the thing that, 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 that doesn't forgive her for what she's fucking done i still still remember what she did to sasha but Deceiver. Oh, interesting title. It's just going to be interesting to see if she changes. She won't, I feel. Yeah. She's very headstrong, isn't she? We're not gonna kill you. I I like. Oh, is someone watching you? Oh, hello. Be nice. Be nice, Gary. Be nice. 
Gabby, no. Oh, come on. You can't fucking kill everyone you see. I know you're hungry. <laughs> For first, I feel like the best way to communicate. Oh God. This devil just offered no, a nobody, you nobodies a meal, like, No, no, no. <laughs> Benavia, nice. So glad Falco was ahead. It's so weird, like, seeing the smiling faces, but the music, you know. Oh, Gabby, for fuck's sake. That's so understanding. Oh my god, the music's getting on my fucking nerves. It looks really good. When did you get there? Okay, okay, okay. Flying boat powered by iceberg stone. Interesting. This is tough. Hunter. I guess as commander, you do have to make the tough choices. It's that kid I've always talked about. Oh. Rock is a blocker. Mm, we do we do have kind of extreme like Adam fan side, don't we? Mm. 
will lead our country. Hmm. Interesting. Oh shit. Don't do anything crazy. Okay, no, no, no. Interesting. That was the pr priest. Um. Uh, was the I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I don't know if his exact title was the priest, but you know, season three, the whole like um. Revolt, etc. Um. Oh, that was a fascinating quote. Oh shit. No, not Mikasa. <laughs> That's the one you saved that day. Amazing, yes. Welcome to Mikasa Fan Club. She was just a child. Oh, she really sincerely looks up to you. As Mikasa does to Adam. Oh, this hurts. This is tough. This is really tough. I mean, it always has having to imprison your own fellow, like, comrades. It's because all right. Mikasa. The guy watching me so enchained. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you're a creepy horsey. <laughs> well, we'll see why you breathe so heavily. Oh, you want to munch on the hair? Oh, dodge, sweetie. <laughs> Good horsey. Go, horsey. Go. <laughs> Someone give this horse a fucking medal. I'm so sorry for calling you creepy. <laughs> this, no, it's not the devil's doing, sweetie. Horses just know. Animals just have a sixth sense. When you're nasty. You see? The horse gets along with Falco. <laughs> I gotta stop being so mean to Gabby. But it's, just, it's so hard not to.
Is he really a traitor though? <laughs> Everyone here is an orphan, so that's why they're so open and welcoming. The Queen's policy, bless Historia. Hmm? Um, did you listen to what she said? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this is awkward. Yeah, you guys are quite loud when you talk about it. Gabby, no. Gabby, don't. Gabby, f oh my, for fuck's sake. If she does this... Gabby, don't. You can't solve everything with fucking violence. What's wrong with you? Are you not- are you not a devil? It's nothing. Just walk away. It's- it's nothing. Oh, this is fucking stressful. Can you take one second to see how open-minded Kaya is? Just... Just one second. <gasps> is she the girl that's... Oh, wait, no, is she? Wait. I don't understand why we hate it so much. What exactly did my mom do? But she's asking about her mom. Don't you mean Al? Oh shit. But her mom didn't kill anyone. Oh my god, even my airphones can't handle this.
don't know anymore. Yeah, you are. It was Sasha. It was. You're the girl Sasha saved. Because she's the one that showed up at Sasha's grave. You killed her. That was a really nice cut to the ending. Oh shit. Oh, it's so... This fucking cycle. I mean... Oh, it, it tilted me for a second. It's like, she is the girl that Sasha saved. And like, I guess I guess starting from the first bit of the cycle, it's just like, because she saved a girl like this, because, you know, Sasha literally put her life on the line to save a girl like this. This, a girl like Kaya has, uh, like formed in a way like in the sense like i was wondering why kaya was just like so open-minded like obviously she knew they were for marley but till the end she kind of you know kept the secret protected both like falco and gabby and just like she's just a very i really like kaya's character i mean i think they did a fantastic job of adding the girl that sasha indeed saved and the fact that she was just like i want to be a girl like that but then it fucking tilted me because she said if she was alive today and we we, we know who killed sasha So you guys know. I guess I finally piece the pieces together. restoration isn't that what Ryder did <laughs> mm. a global alliance six months I mean you guys do have to rebuild Oh shit, yeah, we lost every single warrior candidate, didn't we? I mean, that was the plan. How does Attack on Titan just keep getting better and better? Oh fuck. Yeah, I personally really like this episode because not only did we focus on like Gabby and Falco, their kind of adventures within Paradise Island um, and you know, the first time kind of actually living with their so-called definition of devils. But then we also go back to the after effects of that kind of invasion and rebuilding, like regathering and planning their next attack. So it looks like they indeed are going to do a surprise attack. Obviously Team Eden did all of this to buy us some time. So exa that's exactly what they wanted, you know, that six month kind of time frame. 
so they can prepare for this war as well. But if we do get a surprise attack, oh shit, how will that go down? I guess another war that just doesn't freaking end. This is, I guess, this is where it really shows about the whole opening song. It's just like, you know, it's like, it's my war, it's my war. And we can just see that everyone is just fighting their own war and that's where it kind of like never stops but then I really liked it as I said the introduction of a character like Kaya they did a really good job of adding the girl that Sasha did indeed save maybe we do just need more characters like Kaya with that open mindset that really challenged Gabby's thought process I really like that I mean because that is the back and forth argument we've had I mean yes I do get a little bit of Gabby's side of it's just like you know the history the death and war that the Aldeans did previously cause but then when you think of it in the perspective of Kai, it's just like, but my mom died four years ago. My mom died four years ago. My mom wasn't there. She didn't do any of that. My mom, like, what did my mom do? And that, that's when you could really see it challenged Gabby is kind of, honestly, textbook thought process. I will have to say that. You could honestly just see Gabby spewing out the textbook knowledge that has been shoved down and imprinted on our thoughts from like chop. I can, I can, I can see that side of Gabby. And that is something that is really fascinating because it's just like, when you hear Gabby kind of talk about what she thinks about it, it's just like, she honestly grew up in that kind of world, in that kind of setting where they taught her this standard of like textbook knowledge. And that's what she kind of kept spewing out. That's why when it was challenged, she had no other thought process or answer because that is the only like kind of funnel that she's been taught in like this is the only like roadway that she was kind of taught in and you could really see that when she was just spewing out the same thing it just sounded like as though she was spewing out a textbook whereas like Kaya's one was just like really questioning what happened to her like exactly what she kind of experienced and that's why Gabby didn't have an answer however I do like how we do have a middle ca ground character like Falco. Falco is honestly a really fascinating character I mean there's honestly so many fascinating characters going on but yeah Falco is also another character I like because he is kind of that middle ground character that's why he's able to adapt to this new setting adapt to the you know living with these so-called devils and you could also see Falco listening to kind of both sides that's why I'm really curious to see how Falco will honestly play into all of this like yes I know he wants to go back to Marley but he is someone that does understand exactly the cause and effects of every action that has been taken and he is someone that is able to say sorry for his actions I, I think Falco is one of the characters that I definitely want to observe and how he gets played into this overall series but yeah I guess on that note episodes honestly just get better and better and just like the building these like different perspectives ideologies and it's just like it's so conflicting and fun at the same time to be able to debate so many sides but can't wait to see what next week will throw at us so until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next time